great to be back with you for last week discussing friendship. The last week. Last week, I know. On friendship. But friendships go on. Absolutely. And what is friendship? Friendship is using your words and actions to show others that you care. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a friend let you down, Pastor James? Yes. And what does it feel like when a friend lets you down? Well, it feels very sad. You just feel hurt. You don't know if if you're friends anymore or even if there's any hope of continuing to be friends. How, how are you going to move past this hurt? Mm -hmm. Well, let's think of the flip side. Have you ever hurt any of your friends? Mm -hmm. It happens. Yeah. Sometimes it's unintentional. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it happens because we're scared. And mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about someone today who was scared and who betrayed his friend. Um, but before we do that, let's look at to, to Proverbs 17, 17, our verse for the month, which says this. A friend loves at all times. They are there to help when trouble comes. Mm-hmm. Now, the person that we're talking about today is someone who eventually will go on to be a great disciple, an apostle, a teacher, a preacher of the good news of Jesus Christ. He will yes. proclaim it boldly. But he had a moment, a few moments actually, in which he was scared yep. and he denied Jesus. Mm. We're talking about Peter. And so despite his time with the Lord on earth, he had some moments of weakness in which he denied him. And so I'm going to... Even gonna, denied when Jesus said he was going to do it. Exactly. So I'm going to be pointing you to the book of John, chapter 18. And we're going to be starting with verse 15 in this historical account. It says, Simon Peter and another disciple were following Jesus because this disciple was known to the high priest. So this is just after Jesus was arrested and, and taken and being brought to the high priest. And Peter went, with, went and followed mm -hmm. uh, as, as the high priest went with Jesus, to, or sorry, uh, he went with Jesus to the high priest's courtyard, but Peter had to wait outside. So this one uh, follower of Jesus was able to go in, but Peter wasn't able because he wasn't part of the priest's courthood. Yep. The other disciple who was known to the high priest came out and spoke, spoke to the girl on duty, and she was able to bring Peter in. Oh. You are one of his disciples, are you? The girl at the door asked Peter. He replied, I am not. Kind of, oh, I'm not, okay. I'm not one of his disciples. No. Verse 25, as Simon Peter stood warming himself, he was asked, you are not one of his disciples, are you? He denied it, saying, I am not. One of the high priest's servants, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had caught off, challenged him. Didn't I see you with him in the olive grove? Again, Peter denied it. And at that moment, the rooster began to crow. Peter had denied Jesus. He'd spent all this time with him, and he always said, you know, who would ever deny you? At the Last Supper, he says, what if he's going to deny me? And he said, who would ever do this? He couldn't believe that he had, but in that hour, when he was weak, he was scared, he didn't know what to do, he ended up denying that he even knew his friend Jesus. Three times. Three times. Well, I'm going to take you over to still the book of John, chapter 21. And so Jesus, after this fat point happened where he was in front of the high priest, he of course went on to be crucified mm -hmm. and he died, but he rose from the dead three days later. And if we look at the book of John chapter 21, mm -hmm. after Jesus had risen from the dead, he had appeared again to his disciples by the sea. When he had done this, there, he had appeared so that people could see and witness this amazing thing that God had done, raising Jesus from the dead. Mm -hmm. Well, verse 21, and starting at verse 4, In the early morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. They'd gone fishing. He called out to them, Friends, have you no fish? No, they answered. He said, Throw your net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul in the net because of the large number of fish. Now you gotta understand, when you've gone fishing all night long and you have caught nothing, nope. and somebody yells out to you from the shore, hey, throw it on the other side. 
you're like, are you nuts? You've got to be kidding me. We've been here all night. There's no way just on that side of the boat there's going to be fish. Yeah. But sure enough. Didn't geez. even ask them to move the boat. No. Just the net. Just, just the net. And there were so many fish. So much. They were unable like to haul the net. the net. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It's the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard them say, It's the Lord. He wrapped his outer garment around him and he jumped in the water. And he went to shore. So he didn't even wait for the boat to go back up shore. He's like, oh my goodness, it's the Lord. And so despite having denied him, he was just so excited to see the Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, the the men and, and of course Peter, all of the men went back on shore and, and Jesus told them, okay, you know, some of these fish, let's I'll let you cook them by the fire that's here and have it for breakfast. And then he took Peter aside. Now, I wonder what Peter would have been feeling because he denied Jesus. But Jesus took time to spend with him even though Peter had denied him. And in verse 15 from chapter 31, when they had finished, Jesus said to Simon, son of John, do you truly love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, be my lambs. And again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Take care of my sheep, Jesus said. The third time, he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all these things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. I tell you the truth. When you were younger, you dressed yourself and went where you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. You know, it's very interesting that, that Jesus took Peter aside and, and said, I still have, have a purpose and plan for you. Even though Peter three times denied Jesus, Jesus then asked him three times, do you love me? You know, this act of taking Peter aside and, and, and saying, you know, if, if you love me, then follow me, then serve me. This is what I have a plan for you. He was demonstrating that he was not harboring anger or hurt feelings towards Peter. He had forgiven Peter for his actions and denying him. He knew that he was weak, but he knew that God was going to use Peter in a mighty way. Mm -hmm. If he loved Jesus, then he was going to use him. You know, friends forgive one another. And Jesus demonstrates time and time again what forgiveness means. Forgiveness is an important part of friendship because, you know, it seems like the people we love the most are the people that we tend to hurt in, in, in those ways or they hurt us the most. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason why it hurts so much is because we care so deeply for them. Mm -hmm. And there will be times that we mess up and we hurt each other. We hurt each other's feelings. Yeah. But friends don't hold those things against each other. They're quick to say, I'm sorry. And so we, we And forgive. So we hope to encourage you to be quick to say you're sorry. Mm -hmm. To forgive. To be as Jesus was. Ready and willing to, to work with his friends. That's knowing true. that they had made a mistake. Mm -hmm. But being willing to forgive. Because friends forgive one another. Let's pray, Pastor James. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the time that we can uh, spend in your word. And as we looked at the, uh, the fourth gospel, the gospel of John, and looking at the life of, of Peter and how he had made mistakes and he had uh, denied you three times. Uh, because he was scared and he didn't know what was going to happen in those moments. And Lord, you gave him another chance and you forgave him. And Lord, you give us other chances too and you forgive us. Even when we mess up and we make mistakes, you give us another chance and you forgive us. Lord, help us to forgive others too. 
Help us to forgive our friends and to forgive our brothers and sisters and to forgive our our family members. Lord, when 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 we get hurt, help us to forgive like you forgave Peter and as you forgive us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we want to encourage you to remember to forgive one another, to remember to be a friend. Mm -hmm. Even though we're no longer going to be talking about friendship uh, this next month, I want to encourage you to remember to be a friend, That's putting right. your words and actions into play, being yes. there for one another. Uh, remember, if you're not sure what to do, which direction to go, turn to God's Word, because it is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God never changes. We can trust Him no matter what. And so, before we go, I want to encourage you to remain with us and worship together through song. When you will